Hello and welcome back to LearnClassicalGuitar.com on YouTube and another lesson for you today, another technical lesson to help you learn the classical guitar. I'm Trevor Maurice, the owner and webmaster of Learn Classical Guitar and I'm here to help you today. So as I've spoken about before, Good technique on classical guitar speeds up your development and it sets you free on the instrument. So how can I improve your technique today? Well, we're going to be doing the squeeze string technique that allows you to get a really good sound out of your right hand. Really good tone quality, really good sound uh, overall. So when you can't do one of these technical things, it always has a, a flow on effect and it ends up affecting everything else that you need to learn on the classical guitar and, th and that can lead if you can't do it it can lead to a high level of frustration and you may even get you know make it may even make you give up which is what you don't want to do so don't worry because I know exactly how you feel and I'm here to help you because I've got 30 plus years experience of both teaching and playing the instrument um, and I'll put you on the right track today quickly step by step with the right hand squeeze technique Okay, let's do the right hand squeeze technique in three easy steps. Number one, step one is how to place your fingers. Uh, number two is where to direct the strings. Now this is really super important to get that beautiful tone quality that I was just mentioning. Uh, and then how to release the fingers and the strings. There is a definite way to do it and there's a way not to do it. And I highlighted, highlighted that in the lesson before this about how to sit and play with the guitar so if you haven't seen that one go back and have a look at that and then how to sit and hold the guitar and don't forget by the way when you finish the lesson here on YouTube click on the link down in the description below to take you over to the classical fingerstyle guitar portal which is free if you're not a member there you can sign up very quickly easily for free only take a few minutes and then you can log in there and you can see other lessons and download PDF guides and watch other more detailed videos as well as that. So, okay, so that's all free. And uh, I bring you that to help you develop your technique step by step. Now, now, it's been said that if you practice a skill for 18 minutes a day, just 18 minutes a day, after one year of practicing that skill, you can become better than 95% of the people in the world. That was the study that was done. Now, can you imagine playing for your family or your guitar buddies in a year from now? Uh, with, your, with all this skill and everything under your fingers, uh, I think your, your guitar buddies will probably be a little bit uh, jealous and your family will probably be very, very impressed. So that's an exciting um, idea indeed. It does take practice though. You've got to do focused practice. You can't be just mindless practice. But if you put in the effort, you will reap the rewards. Okay, so let's go into the lesson today. Let's go to the right-hand camera and I'll show you this right-hand squeeze string technique. Here we go. The string squeeze method is where the rubber hits the road in terms of making your classical guitar technique second nature without having to think about it. It's also where you make a habit of moving the strings towards the tummy before releasing them. Now I said last week in that, in that first lesson about how to sit and hold a guitar, you don't want to get behind the string and pull it out because it's a horrible thwacking sound. don't want to get that sound. So let's do the first thing of placing our fingers on the strings. Now I'm just going to put my uh, thumb, I'm going to use Pima, P-I-M-A, I'm going to put my thumb on the fourth D string, my I finger, index finger on the G string, my M medio middle finger on the B string, these are all open strings, and I'm going to put my A or annular finger on the open E string, the first one there. Now, this is what you do. Playing, playing the strings in this manner is one of the secrets to great tone and expressiveness, but you, meet, you need to make it second nature. Okay, here we go. I'm grabbing the strings. Now, you wanna get used to it first. I'm pushing the strings towards my tummy. So where the sound hole is there, push it towards my your tummy or the back of the guitar if you like. 
And so I'm not actually playing anything yet. I'm not letting it go. I'm just placing my fingers on. And if you feel that's a bit too close, you can actually always put your thumb up on the E string here, the bass E string. And so what you do is you, you squeeze, you squeeze, push them in. So they're going a few millimeters in, like two, three, four millimeters in. Just get used to that squeezing technique. So you squeeze your fingers, your thumb goes down and in, your fingers come up and in. Just that squeeze technique. Just get used to that. Now I'm going to play them now. I'm going to do the second step where, so that's, I've done the first and second steps. I've placed my fingers, I've directed the strings and how I release, I just play them through and let them go. Place your fingers, push them in, push down on the thumb, play through, bring the other fingers up, play through, and you just let them go. So really it's the string bouncing back that makes that uh, nice tone sound. Pushing in, letting go, pushing in, letting go. And we'll see in the next lesson where I do rest stroke and free stroke how to incorporate that technique. But first we've got to get used to that technique and it's better doing it with just the right hand, just, to, just the open strings first. Okay, so I'm gonna do it with the E bass. Now I'm gonna do the A bass and the other the same three strings with the, the um, IMA fingers. Then I'm going to do the D. Back to the A, very slowly. Depressing the strings towards the back. And listen to that tone, listen to that sound as it comes out. Very clear, very nice. Now you could also incorporate, if you know a few chords, you, like you could say place a D chord on your left hand there. And practice playing a nice, clear chord. I wouldn't do it in arpeggio just yet. There is a lesson I've, I've got coming up on arpeggio, but arpeggio being the broken chord, the one note after another. But to get used to this, this squeeze string technique first and releasing, now you also will wanna try different levels of volume. Try it soft, so you obviously don't push in as much, just a little bit, and you let it go. Same technique. If I want it louder, I can get louder and louder by pushing just a bit further and putting a bit more power into it. That's quite loud, but it's still very clear. Very clear sound. There's not any thwacking sound to that. Okay, so there you go. You're uh, classical guitar, fingerstyle guitar technique's gone up a peg or two uh, with just these first two lessons that we've, we've looked at so far. How to sit and hold the guitar. We have that nice, steady, controlled one, two, three, four, five. And if you haven't seen that lesson, go back and have a look at it. It's not too long. And then it leads into this one, of course, with the str uh, squeeze string method. these uh, lessons together your technique will develop step by step okay so don't forget to go over to the uh, portal the free portal as I, I mentioned earlier in the video and you can download more more lessons uh, or PDF guides and watch some more detailed videos about different things in technique and so step by step you improve week by week until you get those uh, 18 minutes a day for a year and impress your guitar buddies and your family. Okay, with that, I'll see you for the next lesson very, very soon on the rest stroke and free stroke. See you then. See you.